welcome you all. Myself Amarnath, Botany Faculty from Allen Career Institute at Pava Vidyashram. In this session, we are going to discuss about uh, principles of inheritance and variation. Inheritance is the process of trans transfer of characters from one generation to another generation. Variation is the differences between uh, two organisms because of the mode of uh, reproduction. Reproductions are two types. One is uh, asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction process. In the previous classes, you already studied about uh, asexual and uh, sexual reproduction process. Okay, but in both the reproduction process, slight differences will occur because of involvement of uh, two gametes, especially in sexual reproduction process. In this chapter, principles of inheritance and variation, in neat examination point of view, there is chance to ask questions from the experiments which was done by Grigor John Mendel with respect to the monohybrid grass and uh, dihybrid grass and several experiments done by T.H. Morgan and his uh, student and at last uh, in neat examination point of view they will ask questions from sex determination and chromosomal disorders and uh, genetic disorders. Let me explain few neat previous year questions from principles of inheritance and uh, variation. Here the given question is uh, about uh, Mendel Con Mendel experiments which was done on Pisum Satavam. Mendel studied seven pairs of contrasting traits in pea plants and proposed the loss of uh, inheritance. Statement 1 is uh, true. Statement 2, seven characters examined by Mendel in his experiments on pea plant. Seed shape, seed color, flower position, flower color, pod shape, pod color and stem height. So these are the contrasting characters selected by Grigor John Mendel on Pisum Zatag. So statement 2 also correct. So here the correct answer is, here the correct answer is option C, both statement 1 and statement 2 statement two are correct. Next question, XO type of sex determination can be found in? In grasshopper, the sex determination is uh, XX and XO. In monkeys, Drosophila, the type of sex determination is uh, XX and XY. In birds, the sex determination is uh, ZZ and uh, Z, ZW type of uh, sex determination. Here the correct answer is XX, XO type of sex determination can be found in grasshoppers. Next third question, which of the following occurs due to presence of autosomal linked uh, dominant traits? This is one of the most important concept in this chapter. Due to the presence of autosomal linked dominant trait, hemophilia, thalassemia and sickle cell anemia. These three disorders, these three disorders are related to recessive disorders except myotonic dystrophy. So the correct answer is, uh, the correct answer is option D. Question number three, which of the following occurs due to the presence of autosome link dominant trait? Out of these four options, option A, B and C, these three are related to recessive disorders and option four is a myotonic dystrophy. Regarding this myotonic dystrophy, dominant alleles are capital A, capital A or it may be capital A and uh, small a. For, ho for recessive disorders, the allele compositions are small a and small a. Okay. So according to this question, the correct answer is uh, option D. Next, question number 4, given below are two statements related to Mendelian experiments. Mendel's law of indominant assortment does not hold good for the genes that are located closely in the same chromosome. The given statement assertion is uh, correct and the reason closely located genes assert independently. So reason is uh, wrong because 
closely located genes will not assort independently so here the correct answer is uh, assertion is correct but uh, reason is not correct next question number 5 if a color blind female marries a woman whose father whose father was also color blind what are the chances of her progeny having color blindness so let me explain uh, with the help of uh, allele composition of allele compositions for color blindness for color blindness the abnormal alleles in case of females human females are xc xc next in case of male the abnormal alleles are xc and y generally normal alleles for females x and x for males it is uh, x and y okay in the question they asked color blind female marries so the female composition is uh, xc and uh, xc a man whose mother was also color blind mother was also color blind it means the abnormal x chromosome he got it from his mother so the person abnormal alleles also xc and y what are the chance of her progeny having a color blindness so if you do crossing between these two parents female composition is xc and xc and uh, male abnormal alle male gene composition is xc and x xc and y according to that according to pannet square we can make uh, gametes from these two parents one gamete possess xc chromosome another gamete from female also xc chromosome in case of male the gametes will be xc and y okay so when abnormal alleles when both uh, male and female gametes fuse it becomes xc and xc so here the progeny will be color blind color blind girl affected girl next uh, xc and y in this case the baby boy will be also affected with color blind next third progeny baby girl she is also affected because from both mother and father she is getting abnormal alleles and the last one excessive from excessive from mother and normal allele from father okay the one here out of these out of four children only one child is only one child also not normal so here all children are affected so the correct answer is here uh, option b 100% in this case children will be affected okay in this session we all we have discussed about the uh, principles of inheritance and uh, variations in next session we are going to discuss about few more uh, previous neat questions hope you understood have a nice day thank you